There we go. Okay, so I am using the Sweet Strawberry Stamp Set, you guys, and the coordinating punch that goes along with it. I absolutely love, love, love it. Of course, I use that word loosely because <laughs> I love everything in the catalogs. So that's what we're gonna do today. I have got a super, super cute card for you that is pretty easy to do. And it is some stamping, actually. More stamping than, than I have been doing. So I've got some things that are already pre-done, but in case I need them. <laughs> okay, so we are going to start out with, we're going to do a little bit of a fun fold card. I've been really enjoying those lately. So our card base is just a single piece um, I'm using Bermuda Bay. It is five and a half by four and a quarter. And then I do have a piece of designer series paper. This is, I never can remember the name of it. It is um, not Berry Blessings, but Bountiful Blessings, I think it is, or something like that. It's the paper that coordinates with the Berry Blessings stamp set that you can get free with a hundred dollar purchase before tax and shipping. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down. And that, that side is just absolutely beautiful. Okay, so I am gonna glue this down. And I know that these color combinations probably maybe look a little strange to you, but when you see it done, it's really pretty really pretty and I love Bermuda Bay and I really wanted to use Bermuda Bay. Okay, so I have got it. This is five and a half by um, four by four, I think is what the size of this designer series paper is. And as usual, I will have them up on my blog. Um, Maybe not tomorrow, but definitely, um, yeah, I'll have it on there sometime tomorrow, and I'll post when it's on there. So we're going to move this aside because we don't need it now. So then I have another piece of Bermuda Bay, and this is 11 by 3 and 1 eighth, and then it's scored at 5 and a half, and then it's just folded in half. Then I have a piece of, I know I wrote on the back, this is the inside piece. This is five and three eighths by three. And then this one is five and a half by three. And this one, we're gonna do some stamping on it. Move this out of the way. Um, we're just gonna stamp away on that. So we're using this large leaf and flowers. We're gonna be using the two berries and this little flower right here. I might use this one, but I know for sure I'm using this one. And the solid little topper, cherry stem, or not cherry stem, strawberry stem. Okay, and we're gonna be using Poppy Parade, Granny Apple Green, and Daffodil, Daffodil Delight. I am going to ink up our stamp here in the Granny Apple Green. And I am just going to stamp all over. So just like so. And I want this one to kind of like go up this way. I'm going to stamp off of the paper too, not just, um, yeah, so it goes off the edges as well. And we're going to bring this one right in here. And let's see, we'll do a stem down this way here, like right, like, yeah, right there. That works for me. And then I'm going to bring this one like right up in here, like so. And then a leaf right here and probably a leaf right here or a part of one and over here too. Let's see, we want some leaves here and then over here, we want some flowers and some leaf like right about there. Okay, 
so there we go. So that looks pretty good to me. All right, so I am gonna put that aside. We're gonna close up the granny apple green and we're gonna bring in, we're gonna move this to the side because we're done with that. This is our inside piece, so I'll stick that on the inside. We've got some scrap white that I know I'm gonna be needing. Um, I know I put some more over here too. Okay, so we're gonna ink up the solid image of the strawberry first, or you could do it in, in any way that you wanted to, but oh, that didn't stick to my block. My blocks are dirty. They need to be cleaned. Well, so I'm gonna stamp that right like this down here. So you want five of these strawberries, but I'm only gonna stamp one and punch one out because I do have some that are um, already done just to save a little time. So I'm gonna line this up the best that I can. So there we go. Isn't that so, so cute? Okay, so I'm gonna close this up because we're done with that. I'm gonna bring in, oh, I do need my granny apple green again because we need the stem. So I am going to look at my punch. My stem is over there. So I'm gonna stamp it like this, right here, just like that. And then I need a couple flowers, and this is where I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. So let me go ahead and punch out our strawberry, just like that, looks good to me. Punch our strawberry out, and then, I don't need those pieces, and then we're going to punch the leaf out, just like so. Just like that, so there is our leaf. And then we are gonna do some flowers. So I'm just gonna tear that right off of there for our flowers. So we're gonna use Daffodil Delight. And I'm gonna stamp a flower. And probably, let me see how this lines up in here because it should line up okay. It should. Well, I can't see it. I'm way overdue for my eye exam and I know that I probably need another prescription. Hey, Carol. So, from Connecticut. Okay. From, are you, you're from Ledger, is that right or no? Okay, so we've got that. I need a couple more flowers, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to do them with the outline or if I wanted to do them um, with the, the yellow. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this one too. And yes, I remembered. I know that's not probably centered, but that's the best my eyes can see this morning or this afternoon. And then let's see, I think, I think, I think, I don't know, that one or this one. I think I like, I think I like just the outlined one. Okay, so. I need two, one more of those. So let me go ahead and ink up another one. I'm gonna do another one, just like that. 
And then we'll punch that one out too. Super, super fun. I love this, it's so fun. Okay, there we go. So now we have our flowers and I have another one that I already punched right there. Actually, I had two of them. So there we go. And then I need to attach my, I almost tried to pick this strawberry up. <laughs> I need to attach my stem. So I'm going to use a little glue. I could use a glue dot, but I'm just going to use a little glue here. Just a little. Put it on top of my strawberry, just like so. So there we go. All right. Now, let's move that up. Now I need five strawberries. One, two, three, four, and five. But I think this one's a little light, so there we go. Five. And I may only use three. So you might only just need three of them. All right, so our card is gonna go like this. And I'm just gonna place my strawberries kind of around. And you know what? I think that I might just use three. Because I think five might be too much. And we'll use three. So we'll do three. So we'll put this one, it's gonna go right here. This one will go right there. Play around with it until you figure out where you want it to go. And I think that I kind of really like that. Okay, so we've got our three strawberries. So I'm gonna pop those up. Are you? I know this bundle is so much fun. I love this bundle. I hope you get the um, get the berry blessings too because for your freebie because that is so much fun too. The paper is just absolutely gorgeous. And it's so summery and springy and I love it. I love it. Now I don't remember where I had my strawberries. I looked away <laughs> and I just dropped one. Okay, well, we'll just pick this one up. And I think I had this one like right here. And where did it? There it is. So I know it already. I already put a dimensional on it. Okay. And it is going to go like right. Let's see, like right there and right there and right there, kind of like that. Let's see, twist that, see if I can't get it to, there we go. All right, so that's going to go that. Now I'm going to take my flowers and I think I'm only going to use three. Of course, we could use five of them since we only used three strawberries. We could punch out a couple, one more and use those. I think I will. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, good. I hope you've been having fun with it. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Um... Try to line that up. Okay, so there we go. So now we have five strawberries. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my stylist, taking the fatter in, and I'm just gonna push in the center just to pop them a little bit. Just like that. There we go. I like it. All right, and then those I'm just gonna place around. So I could put it like there and there and then here and then put one here and one down here or one here and this one here like that. Or, hmm, 
thinking. I'm thinking. Oh, I kind of like it on this, on the strawberry too. Kind of like that, like that, like that. And maybe we won't put five. Oh, it's coming Friday. Oh, I know you're anxious for it. I would be going crazy waiting for it. I think I'll put that there. No. Well. I always, I'm just going to use three. I always hate waiting for my orders to come in. <laughs> it seems like it takes forever. I'm going to just place that one right there. And then we're going to put this one right here, right there. And then we'll put this one right there. And push this one up a little more, right there. Okay. There we go. Hopefully they're dried. Isn't that cute so far? Okay, so now... I am going to close this up. We're going to bring back in our little card base. I'm just going to glue that right down to that. They are taking much longer. And I'm going to just center that right on there. It kind of slid around on me. centered but it's close enough whoops that just popped off there we go but it's close enough for me okay and now this is gonna go right in the center of this so we're gonna glue this down and place that right like so center it the very best that we can like so, and we'll lift this up just like that. And then this goes on the inside, but I think that I want to stamp some strawberries or maybe the leaves. I'll just do the leaves, that's what we'll do. We'll do the leaves. And maybe we can put the other two flowers on the inside, that would be really pretty. So I'm just gonna come up Right there. I oh, should have put my scrap paper under there. Okay. And then I think I'm going to come here and do just like that. There we go. And then we can put one flower here and one here. They need to be flatter though. Okay, so maybe we still, maybe we should put, um, nah, that's fine. Okay, I'm not going to get too picky. <laughs> if I did that, we'd be here forever. Okay, so that's going to go right there. I'm just using my glue dots. I'm going to stick that right on there, right here, just like that. Okay, then you have, you can stamp your sentiment inside. And what am I going to use for the sentiment? I think I'm going to use happy birthday, you sweet thing. So, I think this is it, yep. And then I need a piece of cardstock for that. I wonder if this is wide enough. Oh, it's close. I might could get it, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try it. And let's use Let's use some Bermuda Bay. Let me get it real fast. <clears throat> I'm gonna get some Bermuda Bay. Thanks for joining me today, Carol. Really do appreciate it. Okay. <gasps> Ooh, 
threw that in there. All right, so let's try this. Get this straight, get this straight. I'm gonna bring it down. Hopefully I don't have to stick my head in here and you guys can see all of my gray hair. And hopefully I stamped it straight. Ah, oh, yay. Okay, we're gonna close that up. And then I gotta decide where I want it. So I think, I think I kinda want it to go like right across there, just like so. All right, so I am gonna trim this. Where do I want it to go? Right here, just like that. So I'm gonna trim right here. And then, um, I should have measured it so I could have got it right. That's going to be okay, but I don't want it to be, I don't want it to cover all of that strawberry though. Hmm. Maybe I can move this one down a little bit. Let me see. Sometimes you can twist them and they'll come up just like that and bring this strawberry down a little more. And then that can come right across there like so. I think I like that. All right, so um, pop dots, pop dots, dimensionals, dimensionals. Okay, we're gonna do just like that. All right, I think that will work. I think so. Hopefully I have my dimensional in the right place. There we go. So what do you think? It's crooked. <laughs> I think I'm gonna put some bling on this too. Thank you. I think I'm seriously gonna put some bling on it. Well, shoot. Go straight for me. And then this needs a new, um, I'm just going to stick some glue on this. Oops, not quite that much, but, and then that is going to go right here so that it doesn't cover that that much. There we go. And then we're going to put some bling bling. So I'm just going to do some rhinestones. And... I really like my paper pick tool to do this, but I don't know what I did with it. So I'll just take my fingers because I don't have much success with using my scissors. And I don't even see where my um, poker tool is. What do I do with it? It must be over on my other workstation must be where it is. Okay, so we'll just keep using the fingernails. They work. Okay, just like that. Just like that. I want that to be centered more. There we go. And then we need to do our inside to our card. So that's enough glue. We'll just put that just like so. I think this card is really fun. I just didn't want to use the Poppy Parade again um, with the strawberry thing. I wanted to step out of the box a little bit and use my favorite color, which is Bermuda Bay. All right, there we go. Hey, Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that is the card for today. I'm only doing one card because of time now, and um, and most people are already off of their lunch break now. So, um, oh, our envelope. Let's do our envelope. I can do that real fast. Right here. So I am just going to use. I could use the designer series paper, not that piece. Um, or we could do some stamping, but I think I'm just gonna use the designer series paper because I really like the way that looks. 
and I don't need this much, but it will work. <laughs> uh, hey, Megan. So we're almost done. So, but you guys can always watch the replay, but thanks for joining in. Okay. And then I'm going to put that right like that. Bring that down a little more. to go all the way up to the fold line. Oops, there we go. Just like that. And then we can just take our paper snips and snip this off. You don't need this big of a piece of paper to do this, but um, sometimes it's a little hard to Cut around when you got a big piece of paper. I'm just going to go ahead and cut that right off and come around here just like so. And there we go. So there is our envelope, which it still slid on me, but it's all right. Okay. So there is our envelope and our card. So it just says happy birthday, you sweet thing, which it looks like it got a little smudge there, but it'll be all right. And then I, you just open it up. So isn't that cute? I really like that. I think that's a really fun card and it's not your typical card. <laughs> I know it. Me too. Me too. Um, I know. <laughs> I wished we could too. So anyway, so there we go. I hope that you guys love this. I hope you'll give it a try. And um, thank you so much for joining in today. And I hope that you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And um, I'm going to try to come back on again in the evening. Not this evening. Possibly tomorrow. If it's not tomorrow, it'll definitely be Friday. Because I know that my dad has a doctor's appointment tomorrow too. So I'll be helping him with that as well. So I love you guys. Thanks a lot for joining me. See you later. Doodly doo.